Hey, beautiful souls, I'm Brooke. I am an intuitive Reiki master, a psychic medium, and a channel for the divine. How y'all doing? Hope y'all are doing well. I'm really feeling this Jupiter and Aries energy and um, really embracing it. I love the fire. I love the um, get up and go energy that I'm fully feeling. So, yeah. How y'all doing? Hope you had a great day. So let's do an energy check-in. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's coming up for the collective. Let's see um, what's releasing in this basalmic phase of the moon that we're in. So we can get ready to bring in new with the uh, new moon on Friday. So exciting. Venus is also going to be conjunct. Pluto Friday 101. All right, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Release control 111. Release control. Yeah. Allow for what's meant to show up 122, 123. Cool your emotions. <laughs> if that doesn't go with uh, Jupiter and Aries, <laughs> be mindful of any arguments that could be going on, okay? Think it through. Oh, I love this. 144, think it through. Before you pop off on anything, okay? Pause for a moment, really think about it. Um, am I going to be upset about this five days from now, five weeks from now, five years from now? Okay. And if the answer is no, let it go. Let it flow. Period. Okay. Talk less, feel more. Oh, and be real. I love it. You know, um, I've really been feeling that. I've really been feeling the whole, you know, talk less, feel more. Okay. 222 really been feeling that. No pun intended. <laughs> I really have been feeling that because, you know, when we tap into what we're feeling, okay, um, you can tap into things that you may not be able to see. So, you know, and in going through this process, you know, the negative aspects of Jupiter being in Aries, there could be a lot of war talk. There could be a lot of aggressive behavior, a lot of fights, being very argumentative, right? So how do you navigate that? You deeply feel into the situation, okay? Is this something, and I, I, what I loved about being an educator at Paul Mitchell, one of the things that we live by is the 24-hour rule. Give it 24 hours. If it's still bothering you, have a level-headed conversation. And if it's not bothering you after 24 hours, let it go, okay? It's not worth it. All right, let's see. Messages 333. Three. Messages from our higher self. What does our higher self, I think one just flipped upside down. What does our higher self need us to know? Star Brothers. This is Horus energy, okay? Protection, loyalty, safety, and trust, okay? We're definitely being encouraged to trust our intuition, trust our guidance, trust our gut feelings, trust uh, where we're being led. Forge, don't follow. Pave a new path. Be the leader you wish you had because we're definitely living between two worlds right now. 414, I know you all can feel it. I can see it, okay? Definitely living in two worlds. So, um, don't try to, how's that saying go? Don't try to fit a square peg into a round hole. If it's just not working and it's not fully in line with you, let it go. It's that easy. Let it go. 441, I'm sorry. 444 definitely could be some um, apologies is going to be coming in. Definitely communication. Okay. Writing past wrongs. And that is right on top of 
thinking it through. Okay, somebody really could be thinking about how they wronged you. Somebody really could be thinking about uh, bringing that, that apology forward. Okay, you're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. Trust the timing of everything. Literally. Okay. And embrace that you're different. Embrace that, you know, you have your own unique gifts. Again, this goes back to what I was saying about not um, forcing a square peg into a round hole. Okay. Maybe you're not meant to go into that round hole. Maybe you're not meant to walk your journey with the people that you're trying to fit in with. Maybe you're meant to go in a different direction. Listen. 55. Listen to what's coming up. Feel what your body's telling you. Let's see where we're at in the heart space. Let's see where we're at in the heart space. Let's see the red heart space. <laughs> One more, please. Thank you. Council of Light, Divine Orchestration. Helpers in the subtle realms. Okay, there's a lot of light that's being grounded into the heart space right now. Uh, could be deeply connected to masculine energy. Well, I almost feel like it's masculine and feminine because I do have release control with Taurus. And then I have Horos. Sisterhood of the Rose. Beauty and devotion. Priestess, mystic, teacher. Okay, some of you are not meant to follow the crowd because you're meant to be leading others in a new direction. You're meant to be leading others down a new path. Okay? So that's the reason why that's coming up. Could be um, a lot of feminine energy coming together. I'm seeing it in my own personal life, and that's been happening for a while now. Okay. Awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being integration. Okay. So we're definitely having some light codes, energetic upgrades. It's definitely coming in through our heart chakra, okay? Boundaries. I had that there yesterday. Where do you need to establish better boundaries, okay? Is this um, always saying yes when your body's really telling you no? Is this um, being a people pleaser, okay? Is this always putting other people before yourself? There's a reason why, um, you know, boundaries is so important. There's a reason why we're being guided to establish those boundaries. Um, this goes back to um, one of my favorite videos that I came across on TikTok. And it says, those that truly love you care about how they make you feel. Period. End of story. And it's true. So when those boundaries are set, okay, people care how they make you feel. Those boundaries are there to show you where you need to honor yourself first, okay? We cannot always be given, 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 okay? We've got to be able to honor ourselves too. In this journey, on this journey, we got to be able to honor um, what we need, how we feel, where we're going, what we're doing, okay? And those that are meant to walk the path with us, not 11, will respect those boundaries. It's a very hard one that I've had to learn. For real. Okay, let's see. Anything else? Let's see what we're healing. These are some of my favorite cards. I had to pull them out. Freedom. Being able to freely express yourself. Being able to freely speak your truth. The birds. I just feel like the bird people are coming together. Okay, we're healing uh, challenges. Definitely feels like there's some healing because this is the trickster. Definitely some healing uh, taking place with Mercury. 
uh, in being able to communicate, being able to express ourselves. Soul retrieval. Okay. Um, this is going to be vital. All right. So what I started doing a little over a year ago was calling in my missing soul fragments. Okay. My missing soul pieces connected to Lamarian. Lamaria. Okay. And what happens is as we go through and we heal and we heal certain timelines, we heal um, whether it is this life, past life, it doesn't really matter. Okay, when we go through and we do that healing and we're calling in the healing, we're sending the healing that we need to ourselves, we're grounding that healing in, we also need to include calling back missing soul fragments. Okay. When I did my Divine Feminine Healing on the ocean where I got married, that was one of the intentions that I set to be able to call in 1111, the missing soul fragments from myself, from that time period, in order to bring complete soul healing 1123 to me. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of tapped into these today. They're talking to me. <laughs> and this is sea creatures that I'm talking about, you know, calling in the healing, okay? Uh, could be deeply connected to Atlantean timelines as well, okay? So, ding! Call in those missing soul fragments. Call in the missing pieces of the puzzle to allow for healing to be brought back to you, to allow for that ancient wisdom to be activated within your body, okay? Could be deeply connected to um, could be deeply connected to Lamarian timelines, call in 1221, 1223, okay? Could be deeply connected to the Civil War, whatever it may be, okay? Call in those missing soul fragments so full soul healing can take place. All right, let's see. One more, please. Or if it's connected to the Indians, call in those missing soul fragments. One more. Thank you. Water. There's a big connection to water, to the sea, okay? Deeply connected to uh, Lemurian and Atlantean timelines. Crystal Keys. This one showed up yesterday. I think I'm at 1331, mirroring. Stepping through, this one did too. Okay, so these messages are pretty loud. Um, I've got 12, 22, and 47. The root chakra, okay? There's definitely some, um, some root chakra healing that's definitely taking place, okay? Um, Merkabas could be activating as well. And I'm not going to read all of this. I'm just going to read a little bit. So, hidden wisdom codes, potent information, Lemurian seed crystals. Seeing your triggers as a gift, awareness of Dharma or drama, creating patterns, healing the earth by looking at your inner environment and healing through awareness. This just confirms what I was just saying. I love it. Okay, 1441. Abundance, non-attachment, 
the paradigm of no scarcity, allowing financial and energetic gifts to flow through and create more. Yep. Okay, stepping through. Follow your heart, dream big, stepping through something that has been holding you back, the threshold, starting new projects, self-belief. It is all possible, the road less traveled, trust. Hello, we're getting the same message on all of them, okay? Trust, trust where you're being led, trust your intuition, trust that you hold the keys within you. And you have the ability to call in those missing soul fragments, those missing codes, those missing pieces in order to bring in the healing that you're deeply 1551 searching for. All right, guys, if this reading resonated with you and you'd like for me to dive in deeper, my website's below. And um, if you're interested in joining me very soon, very, very, very soon with my angel uh, seven-week course working with the archangels. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love you guys. See you soon. Bye.